So how do you get more performance out of your helicopter rockets? That's what I'm going to cover in this episode of the construction of the Helirock kit. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. We're in the middle of the construction of the Helirock rocket kit. In our last episode, we put on the fins and the launch lugs. This time I want to put on the fillets and then start working on the blades. Um, I can use uh, wood glue for the fillets or I can use super glue. Um, if you're going to use super glue, you gotta, you're going to have to have a piece of plastic, like a little plastic sandwich bag works just fine. Um, because you're going to use your finger to smooth it out. Uh, you can, when you're using wood glue, your finger's just fine, but if you use your finger with super glue, you're going to stick to the rocket. So the, you can use the plastic to smooth it out. Um, so you just lay a bead of glue in that joint. I'm going to do all of them real quick here. You can put it on the launch lugs as well. Okay, and then take the piece of plastic and wrap it around your finger, kind of like a finger cot. And then just run it along the fillet to take off any excess glue and to smooth it out. And then I'm taking it and wiping it on a paper towel to get rid of it. Okay, and if you see any any lumps anywhere, go ahead and wipe them off. I got a little bit here at the back edge. Okay, you can either let this dry or you can get out your super glue accelerator and uh, and then you can instantly cure it. Okay. It leaves kind of like an oily residue on it, but right now the super glue is hardened. It happens really quick. Okay, so now the fins are on and they have fin fillets on them, so they're going to be on there really good. Um, so at the introduction I asked how do you make your helicopter perform better and the answer is you airfoil the rotor blades. Um, in the instruction you see some pictures of it where you can round the leading edge and then taper to the point on the trailing edge. Um, in the essence of time here, what I'm going to do is just round off the leading edge and the trailing edge. It's not quite as good, but um, it does work. The rocket will fly a little bit better than having just square edges. So you can see I'm just going over the edges, knocking off the edges, trying to round it off. So I'm going to pause here and I'm going to continue rounding all the edges of all three of the blades and then I'll come back and we'll go on with the next step. Okay, I've sanded the blades. Um, our next step is to modify the hinges. Now these are the little hinges and if you look into the instructions you'll see that we're going to cut them so they have like a little wedge. So I go from the outside corner here of the little plastic just past the inside of the hole right there. And we're going to do that on both sides, just kind of like that. And we're only doing one flap on each fin. And to do this, you just take a scissors and I'm aiming right for that corner right there. Yeah, just cut that off and do the other side. And it removes a little wedge. 
And the reason for this is this is going to get glued to the tube. But because the tube is curved, you're going to have a lot of flap hanging over. And all that's excess and it just gets in the way, adds drag. Um, so we're going to just remove it and that's why we're cutting that. So we'll do that to the other two. Just like that. Okay, now these are going to get glued to the bottom of the blades. So now you have a leading edge and a trailing edge. And you, if you rounded it off just like I did, it doesn't really matter. But if you have airfoiled it, then it does matter. Um, and you're going to cut out this other pattern sheet. And I cut that out previously. Um, and that's going to go onto the blade and it's going to go on the oops, wrong way. It's going to go on the bottom of the blade and it says this is the trailing edge. So this will always be my trailing edge. I'll, I'll write TE on it for trailing edge. Of course now it doesn't want to. My marker's kind of dry. Trailing edge. Okay, so that is going to go on and it's got to say this edge has to be flush with the blade edge and this one is with the trailing edge and then you're going to take a marker and you're going to mark this area right here and this is where the, the hinge will be glued. Um, now I'm using a marker here so you can see it but it's better to use a pencil. Um, just be, use a very soft pencil. Um, because you don't want to put impressions into the into the into the wood. The reason you don't want to use a pen is when you go to paint it, the solvents in the paint will um, soften up that ink and allow it to float up into your paint, and that's going to ruin your paint. Fortunately, this is on the bottom side of the blade, so you wouldn't see it, but it's just good practice to just use a pencil. Okay. So now the, the hinge is going to be glued right into that little box. Now you'll see the, the pin right here has to stay off of the edge of the balsa wood. So it's going to get glued just like that. Now this is the critical step because if you use too much glue, the glue is going to ooze towards the, the pin and it's going to lock it up um, because that's what super glue does. It's, it's designed as an adhesive. So what I try to do is just put the glue, keeping, try to keep it away from that edge as much as possible and just kind of push a little bit of glue towards the edge. And as we did with the, with the fin, we're going to take the flap and then roll it backwards. So the, the last piece to touch is this edge here. So when it goes down, it's pushing the glue this way away from the pin. So now it's up and I'm pushing it down like that. And double check it. Make sure that it still will rotate. Now, if you're, if you're afraid of that, this might come off. Um, you can put a fillet of glue around the outside, but again, stay away from that pin. So I would put glue like starting right about there and go around. And this kind of makes sure that there's enough glue working its way underneath there. And then I'm going to wipe it off. I always hate to have extra, extra glue sitting around. Just like that, and we'll do the other two. And then in our next video, we'll probably start mounting them onto the rocket. So again, my name is Tim Van Milligan. Uh, this is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. 
May the winds be light, may the skies be blue. May all your rockets fly straight and true.